Today we're going to do um, a video trying to answer all the questions that I've gotten in regards to bees braid locks. Um, we chose to put in braid locks because um, a lot of the reason was because of her hair texture. Um, she has very fine hair. Um, it's not really, really tightly curled. It's a slightly looser curl. Um, and it's not, it's, it's just very fine and not very coarse. And so when I would put um, cornrows or whatever kind of style into her hair, it would look beautiful for about an hour. And then within a day, um, it started looking pretty messy. And you know, we usually only got a week to two weeks out of the style and it really only looked good for the first few days of that, you know, two weeks that we maybe had it in. Um, and on the other hand, her sister's hair is more tightly coiled and um, not quite as fine. And I would put in a style and it would look brand new still a week later. And uh, we can get four weeks, sometimes even longer out of her styles. And so that would get kind of frustrating. Um, the nice thing about her hair texture was that uh, it was a little easier to run a comb through. Once it was all detangled after being washed, I could run a comb all the way through her hair, um, which I can't do with her sister's hair at all, no matter how much I've detangled it. Um, but it still took many hours to put in a cornrow style and then it didn't last very long. So that was a little bit of a frustration, but um, we also just liked the look of the braid locks. Um, I had seen a lot of pictures of other girls with them and I showed them to be, and we talked about it. I actually thought about it for a good year um, before I put them in. My disclaimer here about the locks is that I, again, as always, need to say I am not an expert on locks. Um, even a little embarrassed to say I didn't do an enormous amount of research about them before I put them in. Um, I've told you before about the Yahoo group that I'm a part of um, for adoptive mothers um, about hair and skin care. And there are some other mothers on there who had done the locks and they talked about them a lot. So over a couple of years, I was reading conversations about how to put them in and how to maintain them. Um, so I had read many, many times. I could have answered the questions all myself even though I had never done it on my daughter before. Um, so I knew about them, but I didn't search the internet. Um, I didn't maybe do as extensive research as I could have done. So not in any way an expert, but I've had a lot of questions about her locks, so I'm just gonna tell you what we've done and what's working for us and how we feel about them. Um, we haven't had any regrets, right? Bee's happy with them. She likes them. Um, you know, we don't, don't ever wish that we hadn't done it. It is a bit of a commitment. Um, I have also heard that you can take them out, um, but it's an incredibly time-consuming process. Um, I don't think I would be able to take them out if we ever decided that we were done with the locks. I'm sure what we would do is, you know, um, not tighten them for a while and let the new growth go out for, you know, a good few inches and then cut them off and maybe try to get through a little bit of the lock so that she'd have a little tiny fro to start with. And I think it actually would be kind of cute. I don't know what she thinks. I think it'd be kind of cute and we know how to do plenty of different styles that we could work with it and do cute stuff while it grew back out. Um, but we're not in a place where we're really interested in doing that and in fact if she decides she likes them and wants to keep them through her teen years, they're going to be really long and beautiful. So um, so that will be an advantage that we started on when she was uh, I think six years old. So we chose braid locks because, um, because of her hair texture. You can start them with twists. Um, you can start them just by twisting little sections of hair or doing two strand twists. Um, but I thought because her hair was fine and it, and it kind of falls out of styles very easily that braids would hold all the little hairs in better. Um, so we started with braids with the plan of using the latch hook method to tighten them. Um, and so the few tips that I have for if you're planning to put them in is to definitely make sure that you um, use a part that goes from the forehead to the neck and from ear to ear, just like I do with most of my hairstyles, because that way once the locks are in, 
um, you ha will easily be able to part it down the center, her hair down the center, and do pigtails with a nice straight part down the middle, or um, part it this way and put just half the hair up with a nice straight part from ear to ear. So it's kind of good to have those. I did her whole head basically in a, a grid, um, lines going this way and lines going this way. The other nice thing about that is if I want to now cornrow her locks, I can, and it's like having the parts already done. So um, that makes it really fast and easy. Uh, so I, I'm glad that we did it that way, and I think if you're putting locks in a little girl, hair it's good to have those main parts because you're going to do pigtails and stuff um, if you're an adult woman you might not want them you might want to do like more of a diagonal pattern where the locks are going to then fall over the parts and you're not going to see them um, and it'll hide the parts but for a little girl you probably those that was one of the biggest tips I had and I followed it and um, glad I did uh, so the size of her locks are um, about the size, oh, a little bigger than um, like a pencil eraser. Uh, when I put them in, I thought they were all about the same size. Over time, they've changed a little. Um, the parts have kind of shifted around in some areas and um, some that were too small. There was a couple places where her locks were too small and they were looking really fragile. Um, after like a year of being in and I actually took two of the locks and uh, twisted them together and then when I latch hooked them I, I tightened them in together and turned them into one lock um, so you can join locks if you need to later in the process um, but for the most part they're all about the size of a pencil eraser and they they have thickened up a lot you can tell, I don't know if you can see from a distance, we'll show this closer up in a minute. You can tell the difference between the braid that we started with and then the thicker area, which is all um, her newer growth that has been since putting the locks in. So just a couple reasons why we like having the locks is, um, what's your biggest reason why you like having locks? Because I don't have to get it wet. Because you don't have to get it wet? No. Right, the other way around. <laughs> she can get her hair wet whenever she wants to. Um, I'm I'm kind of protective with her sister's hair once I put it in a style. I don't get it wet like for the whole three, four, five weeks it's in the style. Um, if she's in the shower, we put a shower cap on. If she's playing in the sprinkler, um, she wears something over her head to keep it dry. Um, with with the locks, we don't have to worry about that. So that's been really nice. She's enjoyed that. That she, it just gives her a little more freedom. Um, I enjoy the versatility of being able to style it different every day very quickly and easily or taking a little more time to do something elaborate but um, I'm going to put together a video that shows a lot of the different styles we've done too. Um, she, what, what were some of the other reasons? We can get it wet, we can do it different every day. Um, we like the way it looks, yeah, she likes the, the boingy springy curls, uh, fits her personality, just looks good on her. Um, so we've enjoyed them. So I hope that answers a lot of your questions about why we chose locks, um, how long hers have been in, um, and how we did them and whatever. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post a few more videos along with this one that show how we tighten them and um, like our hair routine, our products and everything.